February 8, 2020 and we're here at the Vargas Museum at University of Philippines Diliman to see the artworks and installations that they have. So, say hi! Okay lang. Vargas Museum <laughs> with our um, our group to see the installations that is inside the building. We're blessed with the opportunity to talk with one of the people who run the museum, Mr. Gian Delgado. And he told us that the museum is named after the person who donated all his artworks. Hence the name of the museum, Mr. Jorge, Var Jorge Vargas Museum. The museum is the Jorge B. Vargas Museum and Filipiniana Research Center. So in short, Var uh, UB Vargas Museum. So it was built during 1987. A couple of years after Jorge B. Vargas donated his collection and memorabilia to his alma mater, which is the University of the Philippines. So he was actually a distinguished alumnus of UP because he was one of the first graduates under the UP College of Law. And then uh, the height of his career actually happened during the Commonwealth period under the presidency of Manuel Alguezo. So he was the first ever appointed Executive Secretary of the Philippines. the second floor of the museum and the others are already inside as they cannot wait to check out the paintings. So the second floor houses several art pieces and paintings of different artists, some of them even national artists of the Philippines. My favorite part was the paintings. And not just because of its beauty, but also the excitement of finding the story behind every painting in the museum. The third floor of the Vargas Museum houses the works of a lot of contemporary artists known today, such as the Spot of the Image by Alan Balisi. Here at the third floor, we can also see the library and archives, which Jorge Vargas himself treasures and up to this day. third floor. 
floor is also similar to the first floor which is a space for the contemporary um, changing exhibitions and then also at the south wing is the um, Jorge B. Vargas uh, a Collecting Life memorabilia which is the extension of the second floor permanent exhibition but um, what's special about the third floor um, contemporary art exhibits is that it interacts as well with um, the Vargas collection and archives that's why the uh, contemporary art exhibits that uh, you can see at the third floor actually has some elements coming from uh, well-researched artists and um, curators coming uh, from different topics that they saw uh, in the uh, materials at the Vargas um, Archives and Library. Hey, we just finished touring the museum, three stories, and <laughs> heading home. We are heading back home now. So, seeing the artworks of prominent figures like Luna, Amorsolo, Valentino, Hidalgo was such an overwhelming and. It was such an overwhelming experience. Ano mga naranasan natin? Ano mga, what did you feel when you saw Masaya. the artworks? Masaya daw. Deeper than oh, happy. Favorite Amaze. artwork? Amaze. Oh, may umiyak pa raw. <laughs> Favorite artwork sa museum? Harvest City. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we saw some of the artworks na we were studying sa Confil Arts. Kaya it's such a great experience. So visiting these museums, I think everyone should try it. Kasi Ang saya talaga. So again, until next <laughs> vlogger mode. Until next time, bye.